Hey, Tyler. Sorry I'm late. I just finished up delivering today's medical supplies and had to pick up my truck from the shop. Shop? What's wrong with it? Nothing, dude. I just got the engine converted, so now it runs on a fuel electric mix. In the long run, I'm going to save a whole lot of money. And just think, I'm also helping reduce our carbon imprint on the planet, all without buying a new truck. Dude, that's awesome. Tell me more. How does it work? How fast does it go? How much does it cost? Hey, but I've heard those hybrids aren't very fast. That's not true. They tested the engine in a dragster, and it did 127 miles per hour in the quarter mile. Now that's fast. Whoa, that's cool. Who makes it and where can I get one? Wait, listen, this is what I'm talking about. Hi, I'm CEO George Hamstra of Nut Game Motors. Are you ready to save money, fuel, and the environment without buying a new car? Well, you could do this with the vehicle you have right now. Contact a participating local mechanic, have your vehicle retrofitted with our electric motor interface system, which converts your vehicle into a hybrid. Don't delay, start saving money today! And you know what? The retrofitting engine is going to pay for itself in less than three years. My truck will only be five years old by then. Much more cost effective than replacing my truck for a new hybrid. Hey! Isn't your vehicle only a year old? Exactly. I'm going to contact my mechanic to see about retrofitting my truck with a new EMIS. Hello, we're at NASA Laboratories, and I'm going to turn it over to Cannon Grant, our scientist at NetGain Technology at NASA, to further explain this concept. Kian, over to you. The new retrofit hybrid runs great. There's a noticeable difference in the amount spent on gas. This concept makes perfect sense. Our NASA spacecrafts are powered by several energy sources working together, including solar, fuel, and battery power. The appropriate combination of elements and the way they work together all make them perform so well and efficiently. The hybrid power management program joins new and older technologies using space and Earth travel to develop more efficient power systems. This is a key factor to address local energy systems. NASA began having success with the hybrids in, in the 1970s, so there is a lot of data and research to build on. Instead of batteries, super, NASA uses supercapacitors in hybrid cars. A battery stores and discharges energy through chemical reactions. Supercapacitors store electricity that electrostatically so they charge and release energy faster than a battery. Supercapacitors can tolerate up to a million charge and discharge cycles without wearing out. They last longer than batteries. A retrofit system converts rear wheel vehicles into gas and electric hybrids by installing an electric assist motor and using supercapacitors instead of batteries. An electric motor is inserted into the existing drivetrain of a standard gas powered vehicle to supply electric assist to the internal combustion engine. The system monitors engine performance parameters to compensate with the appropriate amount of assist power. This is what enhances fuel economy.